at young James Wiseman's first double-double. On this play, it's fun watching Steph Curry dribbling and doing his thing where he blows by his man and protects his legacy. But there's a lot of interesting stuff happening on the weak side here with young James Wiseman. He's trying to figure out what to do on this play because he's not screening for Steph. And he says, I can still make myself useful. He's looking around and he sees Oubre's in the corner here. So he can come over here and set a back screen on Lillard. If Steph happens to blow by everybody and then everyone is rotating to Steph, Steph can have this pass out to the corner. And so that's where the back screen comes in handy because then no one can rotate to Oubre. You can actually see him go around and start to get over here to get behind Lillard when all of a sudden he says, holy crap, Steph is blowing by his guy. This is what I've been waiting for. Nurkic has to rotate to Steph so Wiseman can just position himself. And he's going to point up saying, it's time to throw me the alley-oop and make my dreams come true. So then Wiseman immediately shifts into rebound mode. He knows that he's got Damien behind him, so he should be able to out-jump Damien if there's a rebound here. And then very agile, just a soft touch on that put-back tap. Really nice job. Here's some communication issues between Wiseman and Steph. Wiseman doesn't really know, am I supposed to set a screen? Am I supposed to set a screen here flat? Am I supposed to go on the backside here? Am I supposed to give you this kind of screen? Am I supposed to just evacuate? It's kind of unclear. And so Steph ends up flashing a real quick stab with his arm saying, hey, I want the screen. There it is. And he's probably yelling something at the same time. So Eisen steps up and set the super flat screen. I don't know if Steph actually shoves him and Wiseman really elbows him, but or whether it's uh, an embellishment. But on the face of it, it looks like these two warriors will rough up this guy like an old-time gangster movie. So now Wiseman is completely free for the role, and the only one who can really help is either Damien or CJ, and they both are small. Wiseman is big, and CJ ends up being the one to rotate, which is not a bad idea because he's leaving Ubre, who's ice cold from three. But but then CJ makes a business decision and thinks, eh, I don't want any piece of that. So you have the ball in the post, and the new style split cut says two men come together, but then one of them cuts to the basket and one of them pops out. Unfortunately, in this play, Draymond is the one who's popping out. So Ubre's cut is guarded because that's a real threat. There's the cut, and Draymond gets the ball, and he already can see what's happening. He knows he's going to get the ball on this, and he knows he's definitely not going to shoot the ball. So instead, he's going to dribble the ball over here and give, just hand off the ball to Wiseman and try to set a screen with his butt. Here, I think he's trying to use butt power to shove his defender into Nurkic. Here's the handoff, and Wiseman is gonna get to the left elbow. There's one dribble, and he plants his foot, of all things, he plants his foot on the free throw line, and then without any more dribbles, there's this gorgeous spin move and dunk. Here, Wiggins drives, and it's kind of a mess. I like how Wiggins stays in this play. I've noticed a couple times this year, he's used his athleticism to get to loose balls. I think he gives Nurkic a helpful shove. Nurkic just goes flying into the stands here. Wiggins digs out this loose ball, and he's in emergency mode. If he was not in emergency mode, he would realize that Wiseman is completely free. Gosh, I wonder what happened to Nurkic. <laughs> and so it would be easy to little, shovel a little pass to Wiseman, and then he'd get a dunk. Wiggins is in emergency mode, so he just bails the ball out. Wiseman is tossing up the finger to the sky. Draymond, make my dreams come true. And Draymond is the dream maker. Here you can see Steph is not on the ball, but he's still directing the offense. He is pointing that the ball should go into the post. I think Steph is calling for a split cut here, basically. So this is one of those typical plays where the ball go to the post, and then I think he wants Wiggins to set a screen for him. Nurkic makes a fatal error here. You can see Steph is getting ready, I think, to, to do the cut. But Nurkic reaches, Wiseman teaches, I really like him going so strong to the hoop. 